So we're here with John DeJulius, author of The Customer Service Revolution. And John, you had an important idea that I hadn't actually heard before in this whole field of customer service, which is the importance of producing a life in the day of your customer. Tell, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, in so many industries, the, the, uh, the person serving the customer client is, is not them age-wise, social, economically. And so they, they can't, they have a hard time understanding where they're coming from. Yeah. So, you know, we've created, um, you know, a day in the life and, and what they're going through personally, professionally, the struggles, could have a sick child, parent, um, and the, the stresses they could be under from work and, and other customers where when it finally gets to you, whether it be the phone call or, or the, the, you know, the, the meeting, you have just so much empathy and compassion that, that you really are in their shoes and, and you better understand what they're coming and you want to solve, solve it for them. Yeah, you know, we, we serve entrepreneurs, but not all of our people are entrepreneurs. Exactly. So we need them to get a sense of kind of the stresses right. and pressure. Right, your assistant, your person dealing with them more probably than sometimes you are has never been a CEO of a you know Fortune 100 company or whatever it may be, and she can't understand why he won't return her calls and stuff. Well, if she you know, knew what it was like and all the things he has on his plate, yeah, it, she, she would be a little bit more understanding. Yes. The other thing I loved is, you know, we, as you mentioned, a lot of us have all these vision, mission, all kinds of statements, but there really is critical for the rest of the employees, this kind of customer service vision statement. And talk a little bit about what you did with Starbucks, if you can. Yeah, so, so Starbucks, like every company, went through their spell and, and uh, you know, Howard Schultz wrote about it and, and the commoditization of the Starbucks experience. Yeah. And it just was watered down, they were growing too fast, and the employees got away from. And, and, and even, um, you know, when I worked with them, they hired the De Julius Group, they said, um, they gave me an example of, of the mindset. They said if, if, if their senior management was, was touring a, a uh, Starbucks and they saw an employee not froth the milk the full 22 seconds um, or saw an employee that you, know, you came and said, hey, uh, I asked for uh, um, um, uh, sugar-free vanilla. Um, I don't, you, know, you didn't give it to me. And, and the, the employee said, no, you didn't. I'll remake it for you, but no, you didn't, right? Mm. Um, they would be only or, or, or mad about they didn't froth them out the full 22 seconds. And they wouldn't be as mad. And to me, they're both unacceptable, yes. right? And so that's where they, they wanted to you know, get the employees to understand what their burden was in every interaction. Not that I hit it out of the park with that sixth customer that came in today. So we created the, the customer service vision that's only to be advertised to employees to get them to want to you know, come to work and see the part that they could play again in your day because of all the stuff you could be going through. And it, as I understand, you showed us it's on the inside, inside of, the, of the green apron. And what does it say? Uh, we create inspired moments in each customer's day. And then it has the four pillars, which is the how, anticipate, connect, personalize and own. And it makes it that simple. That I can just make sure I do those four things yeah. and cause that outcome to occur, perfect. Yeah, and, and then, so think about, it. you don't wanna come in and, and uh, have me give you the drink exactly how you ordered it yeah. uh, with an attitude. On the flip side, you don't want me to say, hey Fern, great to see you, and I, I give you a drink and every time you take a sip, it's like Russian roulette, yeah. sometimes it's, you deserve both. And Starbucks is charging you for both. And so, you know, the, so to understand, it's not just the quality of the drink, it's that connection we're making, you know, and they go hand in hand. And then what I loved uh, was this idea of just having, again, it's so simple, but common sense, that you need this never and always list. Yeah. Of just a handful of things that we're never gonna do and things that we're always going to do. And just share a few examples of that. Yeah, never say no, you know, yeah. focus on what you can do. So no matter what someone asks you, you can't do it, you know, can I have it for free? Oh, wow, well, I'd love to do that. You know, what I can do, we have some cheaper, less expensive options, you know, whatever it may be. Never say no problem. That's like everyone uses that term um, versus saying certainly my pleasure, I'd be happy to, or you're welcome. Um, simple things, you know, you know, never ignore a customer, always, you know, make them feel like the only one. Simple things that, you know, if they do occur, We'd never do it because most people do do it that way, yes. and we'd always do it this way. And again, I think what's important is you teach it, but folks are going to forget it. Get it on a card. Make sure that it's your daily stand-up huddle. You review one of those, and that repetition of those 
handful of basics. Yep. It's going to again put you ahead of most of the customers. And out of orientation, they have to they have to know it and test out of it. Mm. You know, so they, they go on the form. But like you pointed out, you know, if you don't revisit it in a month, you know, it, it's going to you know go by the wayside. So we're always revisiting it. it, it service yeah. aptitude's a muscle, yeah. and it atrophies if we only do it once a year. Well, John, you're working with some of the top companies, helping them on this customer service experience. And so all I can really say is have people read your book and, and pick up a lot more of these tips. Thank you so much for being here at the Growth Thank Summit. Thank you. It's such a pleasure bet, to be here. Thank you.